everyone is ready for the latest and greatest. Everything's changing so fast. I just want to hold on to the old stuff for as long as we can. Shut 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 We need to talk. Back off, missus. I seen him first. So that is a peek at Son of a Critch, a TV series which takes viewers back to the 1980s in Canada. Yeah, our next guest is somewhat of an expert on the whole story. So please welcome the creator and star of Son of a Critch, actor and comedian Mark Critch. So good morning to you. How are you? I'm absolutely great. It's a real joy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, coming to us from New Finland. What's up, New Finland? I think you're the first person to ever zoom into our show from New <laughs> Finland, Canada. Uh, are, we in, are we in the same time zone? Uh, I am in the, uh, currently I'm actually in Nova Scotia, so I'm in the uh, Atlantic time zone, but Newfoundland has its own time zone, half an hour later than the Atlantic, which is oh. an hour later than Eastern, so everything's a little more complicated in Newfoundland. It okay. sounds that I've lost. <laughs> We're learning. We're learning something new every day. So, so you're the, you're the creator, uh, you're the star of Son of a Critch, which is loosely based on your life, so what is it about your life and growing up in Canada that you thought, you know what? This sounds like a show. Well, we live in a uh, very small place off the east coast of Canada on an island. And um, I grew up in a going to Catholic school, taught by the nuns. Could be very scary. But also I grew up with older parents kind of on the outskirts of town. So it was going to school in those years was really learning everything about socializing with other kids. So I always think of it as my house was a Starship Enterprise <laughs> and the schoolyard's kind of like the planet we beam down to and I'd fight my <laughs> aliens and then get back home. And we have a, uh, a great cast, young Benjamin Evan Ainsworth, who was the voice of Pinocchio and Tom Hanks Pinocchio, plays young me. Oh, wow. And the great Malcolm McDowell, people would know from uh, Clockwork Orange. He yeah. plays uh, Mark's grandfather, who he shares a bedroom with. So we have uh, a great cast and, and a lot of fun. It sounds like, and, you, and you're playing your father on the show, right? So if your father were still alive today, what would he say about the betrayal of, of you playing him? He would be equal parts proud and mortified, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he'd be very proud that he's on a TV show that's playing in America, that being Aww. interviewed about him on American TV, but then he'd be like, don't tell them that. Why, why are the stories about that? That was private, you know? So, uh, yeah, to my face, he'd be mortified. Behind my back, he'd be proud. Yeah. But what about your, the rest of your family? What did they say about Well, my, bro my brother is uh, still alive, last I checked. And he, uh, he is a uh, radio show host in the, in the province I live in. And um, he's very well known here. And uh, he... He was begrudgingly supportive because, you know, he gets asked about the show all the time and people oh. call into the radio session every day after the show is asking if things are true and stuff. So I've, I've sort of stolen his life. Legally, I had to buy the rights to my brother's life for a dollar, like something has to... Really? Keeps, like, it's not, yeah, just for the legal reasons, like to, so he couldn't sue, which he wasn't going to, but they just make you do that. Jeez. And then he's like, this is not worth a dollar. This is not worth a dollar. Yeah. I, I need more. So anyway, so, but brothers, you know. That's what brothers are for, to was bother it, each yeah. other. Was it a Canadian dollar? It was a Canadian dollar, yeah. so that was worth uh, seven cents American. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So this is the third season of the show? What's going on this season? Third season of the show. So we start off the first season as he enters a junior high, and this is the last year of junior high. So we, we're leaving things behind, a lot of change, moving on to a new school next year when we do our season four. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, you know, all that sort of stuff, being bullied on the playground, being mm. afraid to tell the person uh, that you like that you like them, trying to hide your true self because you want to fit in with everybody else mm. until you realize that uh, these aren't your people. <laughs> You'll find your own people later in life. And it's about kind of gathering those friends uh, to go deeper into the forest of life with. So, uh, yeah, it's a big year, a lot of change for us this year on the show. Okay, mm. yeah. I, uh, I went to Catholic school. Our Sorry. principal was a nun, Sister Frances. If he got to go to Sister Francis, you that was not a good thing. <laughs> okay. Oh no, we yeah, we it was very terrifying. And you know what? The nuns who taught me watched the show. And I uh, recently was visiting someone at an old age home and a bunch of them happened to be there, a flock of these nuns. And they came up and they kind of brought me into the office like when I was a kid. They're like, <laughs> well, Mark, that was an exaggeration, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, sister. Sorry, sister. So it never goes away. I immediately cowered and just like <laughs> I love yeah, it. Great, I love though. it. I love it. Just real quick, though, th because everything is kind of, did you have to help with the set and make it look like your house from when you were growing yeah. up? Or 
we, we, we took a bunch of pictures of, of from growing up, and the house isn't there anymore, But and I sketched it out. And they basically reconstructed my house. A lot of the stuff in the house is furniture from when I grew up, wow. from my parents' house. Um, the, the radio in the kitchen is the radio I used to listen to every morning for school announcements and stuff. Oh so it can be really weird. Yeah, if I'm sitting in, in dressed as my father yeah. at the kitchen table, peripheral vision, it feels very much like my house. And, oh. and you know, I, I start thinking therapy would have been cheaper. I could have <laughs> just spoken. <focused laughs> <Right>. Right. <laughs> I love it. You know? I love it. Mark, so much. It's so great to meet you. Thanks for coming on. Oh, thank you for the support. It means the world. And uh, lovely chat with you folks. Right back at you.